Oklahoma weather can be unpredictable at times, with tornadoes at the top of the list. One town just south of the Kansas line is still feeling the effects of a twister that blew through in 20 years ago. But it may not be exactly what you think. You'll find out what we mean today on the OK Connection. I'm Garrett. I'm Josh. I'm Michael Marie. I'm Andrew. And this is the OK Connection webisode episode number one. And today we are all four headed to Wakita, Oklahoma, where they have a Twister Museum and it was the home offices of the 20 year old now movie Twister. Have you guys seen the movie? Oh, of course. I have not. I have never seen the movie. I've only seen clips of it. Andrew, what do, what do you think of the movie? Many, many times, and I love it. Okay, good. So, what, uh, we, none of us have ever been to the museum. We didn't no. know there was a museum until recently. Uh, what are we kind of expecting from the town and the museum? What do we think we're going to see when we get there? I think it's going to be interesting. And it sounds like, from what I've read about the Twister Museum, they've got a lot of cool artifacts from the film that will be interesting to see in person. So the whole premise of the webisodes compared to the radio show is to just find a little hidden gems that make Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Some things that you may not have heard about and expose them to you. It's cool that we're able to show them rather than just tell them. Exactly. I hope that you guys enjoy what we got coming up. But uh, until then, I'm going to drive and not kill us all. Hey look, cows. So it's about a two and a half hour drive from Tulsa to Akita. So while we briefly talk about the town and the movie, enjoy this little driving montage. Twister was released in 1996, and it is the second highest grossing film for that year with almost $500 million made. That's second only to the 800 plus million made by Independence Day. Twister is typically credited as the first Hollywood film to be released on DVD and stars actors Carrie Yules, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Helen Hunt, and Bill Paxton. Now, Wakita is where we're headed, and that's also where they shot much of the movie. It has a population under 400 and is only about 0.3 square miles as a whole. Before this movie, we were told they didn't have any tourist travel, but since the movie came out and the museum opened, that's no longer the case, and they said they even see some international visitors. But we'll get to that in a little bit later, because if my timing is correct, we should be getting close to the town and the museum. When we got inside, we were greeted by Linda Wade, the director of the museum. Ain't that as hot as usual. For the tour, we were also joined by two more guests who had a lot longer of a trip than we did, but more on that in a bit. The first thing you see when you walk in gets your attention and sets the tone for the rest of the tour. It's one of the original Dorothys. And while it may have been the most recognizable, it wasn't the only thing that showed up in the movie. Pretty much everything in here was used some way in the making of the movie. These are the t-shirts the good guys wore. Those doors came out of the set, this window, this block out here where you're parked was full of debris. I had a car through the front window of the museum. This is a significant building. You also get to see just how popular the museum is, not only in Oklahoma, but all over the world. Now the world will know we were here. We, which color were we? We got to put our pins in Oklahoma. Sure, we're that little white one. That's us. But our other group members were a little farther away. Where yeah. are you from? Hollands. We are doing Route 66 from Chicago to LA. Speaking we came through. from Tulsa this morning. Okay. And uh, now we are heading for Oklahoma City, and then we are passing along the, the Route 66. Throughout the museum, there are pictures, letters, and even some home movies taken by the residents of the town during filming. Okay, this is what town kind of looked like when they were building. There's also, of course, some fun memorabilia. A lot of it given to the museum by one of the movie's stars, Bill Paxton. He, he actually has been in touch with the uh, museum like every five years when I have a celebration. He'll, uh, you know, send us a football or send us a letter or something. So like I said, he'd, he'd stop and he'd run around. He'd go up to you and say, you ladies want pictures? And he'd put your, his arms around you. He even donated this rare twister pinball machine that we all got a chance to play with. 
the museum has been around for several years, and while the locals had a great time, it was just that more exciting for our friends Leslie and Yolanda, who veered from their trek along Route 66 just to visit. What did you guys think of the museum? Like, did it hit where you were hoping for and more? I want more than it. Yeah. <laughs> so awesome. Really awesome. He's exciting like <laughs> 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 coming here. I think it's safe to say the Twister Movie Museum in Wakita, Oklahoma blew everyone away. Sorry, I couldn't help that one.